If you've played pretty much any sport, you've probably heard the advice, move your feet. And the reason you've heard this advice is because it's true. Moving your feet is wildly important regardless of what sport you're playing. But as it pertains to tennis, moving your feet allows you to do a couple things. First of all, you always want to be moving your feet when you're waiting for your opponent to hit you the tennis ball. You don't want to be standing there flat-footed on your heels. That's a huge mistake because that makes you slow to move to the next ball that he hits. If you're on your toes, if you're moving your feet, you'll be much more explosive. Second, taking a ton of steps when you're moving to the ball and when you're trying to get set allows you to be more precise. You can move up, you can move back, and in terms of your ground stroke mechanics, it allows you to execute them in the same way every time and make consistent contact, and again, that'll make your ground strokes much more effective and much more consistent. Behind me here, we've got a shot of me hitting. I'm just rallying with a friend of mine, not playing any points, but what you'll notice is that my feet are always moving and I'm always taking small steps, slightly adjusting my position, and I'm moving my feet when I'm just not really moving in any particular direction, but I'm moving my feet when I wait for my buddy to hit the ball back to me. And again, that allows me to be quick to the ball and it allows me to be precise. And that's something you see all the time on the Pro Tour. Those guys always are moving their feet and that's one of the reasons they never get caught out of position. They're never really reaching for the tennis ball. Most of the time, they're set up pretty well. And it's a reason somebody like Federer, they say, well, he never looks stretched out like he's struggling to get to the ball. That's because his feet are very quick and he moves so well. So the next time you go to the tennis court, try doubling the number of steps you're taking in between shots and see how that affects your mechanics. It probably is going to make you much more consistent and allow you to execute your shots a lot better.